The next technique we'll be using to create a shape will be uh, revolve. Uh, we're going to use a chess piece as an example here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize my front view by double clicking on it. Uh, now I'm going to use a command called picture frame. That will allow me to import a photo uh, where we can uh, trace over it. Oh goodness, I'm so sorry. There we go. So now it'll ask me how big I want my picture frame to be. And it keeps it proportional to the actual image that I created. I'm going to just do big just for ease sake. As you'll see, it'll create just the picture of it. I can't interact with this, extrude it or anything. Uh, I'm going to select and lock it just so I can't mess it up eventually. So I'm going to draw a center axis to help me create this shape. And now what we can do is we can use compound shapes and um, uh, curve through point commands to create the shape that we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and mimic the shapes as best we can. So we'll start out at the tip here. We'll use the circle command. And we're going to do a three point circle. Because that's what's best for this kind of situation. So our first point will be here. Our second point will be here. And our third point will be just trying to mimic this. I understand this is a low resolution image, which makes this part a little difficult, unfortunately. So we have to kind of just guess where we're putting things. So next we're going to use line to create the bottom base. You can be, you can play pretty fast and loose with your lines here because we're going to be uh, adjusting them quite a lot. Um, I'm a fan of using the curve through points tool, but I know it's also very possible just to use the curve tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop points using the points tool on all the major points in our line. So this way you can mimic curves. If you want a more detailed curve, put down more points. That will help the program understand the curvature that you're trying to achieve here. But for these long sweep, sweeping curves, it's a lot easier and totally acceptable just to do wider, uh, farther dispersed points. There we go. So now I've hit, put down all the points that I wanted. So now I'm going to hit enter. I'll do the command cell point, select point. See? That selects all of my points. That way I don't have to deselect other curves that I may have accidentally picked up. So now we're going to do curve through point. There we go. So now you can see it's a little lumpy, which isn't exactly what we want. So we're going to do control point. So I'll treat each of these as a control point rather than uh, one, one thing. Or if you want, you can go back and you can adjust this. So it says all my knots are uniform which is maybe not something you want. You can adjust to short chord or chord, see if there's anything, Let's, or adjust your degree, make it smoother or much not smoother. But I think in the end, I'm gonna go with control point. That's just the best for this option right now. Enter. This is a little so now we're going to select our points, and delete them, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to clean up our lines here. So we're going to select all, and we're going to do command trim. And we're going to trim out the excess parts of our shape. We don't need this since it's on the other side and this ends here, so that's fine. So now we just have one profile of this. And I understand this is a little lumpy and whatever, you could definitely do much better, but this is just, you know, for show. And we're also gonna delete our guideline because we don't need it right now. 
So now what we're going to do is the command called revolve. Oh, actually, I'm going to get rid of my picture frame first because we don't need it anymore. So that's a funny looking dude. All right, revolve. What we'll do is we'll select the curve we want to revolve. Hit enter. It'll ask you the start of your revolve axis. So this is, you'll put down your base point and you'll want to connect that with the uh, other point in your profile. And then this is where you can decide how much you want to revolve. So if I want, only want three quarters, you could stop here, but I do want a full circle. So I'll just click full circle. And then we can see that Da, here is our bishop. Looks pretty good, even though it was a little lumpy. Um, and so remember, bishops have that little notch taken out of them right here. So this is where we can do a command that will remove that notch area from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle, which will be the negative space that we're going to take out of here. So rectangle. It can be a little taller or wider than you actually want it to be because this uh, most of it will not actually be interacting with the shape that we've created. So we're going to extrude this curve. Our notch will be about that thick, I think. Now move it and rotate it into position so that it's at the angle and in the position you want. And you'll see this is uh, far away from our thing, so we'll want to move this together. There we go. So it looks like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select our shape here, and we're going to use the command split. So our cutting object is the rectangle box that we've created here. We're going to hit enter. And what we'll do is, we'll see if we remove this. This section has been isolated from the rest of the object. So we're going to select and delete that. Now you see we have this void here, which is not something that we want. So we need to patch this up. So now we have our object. There's a lot of ways to do this next part. Um, this is just one that I like. Uh, so we're going to select this object and we're going to do the command dupe border. And this will create curves in all the places where the border the object is borders. So we're going to select this one specific because that's the one we're working with and we're going to explode it because I, you'll see it says exploded curve into six segments. So let's see, where are our segments? There's one. I'm going to lock this because I don't want to do anything with it right now. Locking pretty much just saves things from um, you clicking on them accidentally and when you're working on like border work like this it can be kind of annoying. All right, so that looks good. So it's into two on each of the curves and one of these sections. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line from this part to this part and another one from this part to that part. Cool. So remember that edge surface command? This is where things like this come in handy. So we're going to select each of our boundary curves and do edge surface. And we'll continue to do that with all of these. Remember, you can just hit enter and do the exact same command you just did. This really comes in handy in a situation like this, where you just want to create shapes from or in the absence of other shapes. There we go. So now we have this space is all filled in and it would be ready to go.